Hi, and welcome to Tooele TV. I'm Mike Gable, your host, and we're here today with... Dane Applegate, Green Box Recycling. Welcome to the show. Thanks, glad to be here. Well now, tell us, as far as recycling goes, what's the difference between the county and what Green Box offers? Uh, basically, Green Box is a full-service recycling facility. Our uh, primary core business is the non-ferrous and ferrous metals, uh, scrapyard recycling and then we also take it from there and do all the uh, household recycling as well all your plastics paper glass okay which lends itself to the location we're at now exactly. so now I see all these bins and how does that relate to household recycling basically uh, you can go ahead and it's amazing how much is actually recyclable that you consume at your house but you can break them into we do it at the house with three to four different containers so it it goes beyond just the glass and plastic that people normally think of, right? I mean, almost everything, like you said, is recyclable. Yeah, up, up to 70% of everything that you uh, consume at your household, you can uh, recycle. And most people just end up throwing that stuff away, not even realizing it. Exactly. And if you want to go ahead and get set up where you have your little recycling station at your house, you could actually take that rolling around garbage can out to the street once a month instead of once a week. It's, oh, wow. It's, it's pretty dramatic. So people can bring their stuff out here, basically. And I know that your motto is reduce, reuse, and recycle. Right. So to start from point A, how does a family kind of get into the swing of things and figure out how to bring the stuff out and how to separate it? You get a system down where you, you just break it into categories. and You do your plastics all in one box. You do all your paper in one, your metals, and then you can actually do aluminum cans in their own uh, container because that's something we'll actually buy when you bring in. And then uh, just have a place for it and then get it to where you got a good load so you're not making special trips out here with a little bit of material. That's, right. that's the big thing. And if you can go ahead and mix in some other recyclables, metal that you have laying around or anything to make it more of a more of a good trip instead of just a special trip right and make sure you're in the area so you're not driving from Stansbury just to come see us well now tell us that we're here as part of a residential drop-off section right here right so if people bring out their stuff however they bring it out it's broken up into different areas so kind of take us through the individual boxes we're looking at or the uh, the bins as far as how they break it up when they bring it out okay well we can start down here at this end clear at the end we have uh, the light metal and they're marked. All of these mm -hmm. bins are basically marked so people can figure it out. It makes it very simple. And actually, the light metal is something we'd pay for. It, it's not as much as aluminum cans, but it is something you'll actually get paid for. The cardboard is next. We'd like you to break the, the cardboard boxes down and save as much labor as possible. Right. And then we've got our film right here, any kind of plastic bags. They need to be clean. Uh, and then you move on to the HDAP, and that's basically any fog plastic. And there's a lot of this, isn't there? There is a lot of that. And it, this is all on the website also, so you can go ahead and get a good education uh -huh. to know exactly what you're dealing with and where it's going to go when you get out here. But you come out with one uh, container full of your plastics, it'll just take you a minute to sort them into each proper container. And then, then we want the caps off too. That helps in the baling process so you don't have the baler really struggling. Right. And, and there's somebody out here that can basically kind of guide you to it and say... We answer is... questions all the time. Right. But... Okay. And mm -hmm. then it goes on to your mostly transparent... This is your clear PET, water bottles, all that stuff is... This is really very common too, and it's a high-grade plastic. There's the lids on. And then Let's our mixed, right mixed plastics. And that's basically everything else besides these two. We break them into th four categories. And then we do the glass, which is a... Your green, your clear, and your uh, brown glass. Okay. Okay, great. All right, so then what we'll go do now is maybe see some recycling in action. Okay, now we are at the official, what's the name of this machinery here? This is the can blower. Can blower. And this is what reduces this can to that. Right there. Yep. Excellent. So, surprisingly, I mean, how much... Do, does this bring in as far as cans, as far as money, when people are thinking about monetary? Well, basically, you, uh, we figured it out the, to be about 35 cans per pound, and a pound of aluminum is 50 cents. So you can kind of factor that in and see what it's going to take around the house and see what you generate to make it worth the trip out here. It's definitely feasible. Aluminum's uh, 50 cents a pound is a pretty good price for that commodity. And... Uh, 
it's a clean, easy little project to get the kids around the house to, you know, pitch in. And, and then they get to come out and uh, see the money, put the money in their hands, and their little, their little business, their little enterprise is started. It's kind of a fun thing to watch. But. So it would be a good fundraiser for schools mm -hmm. and, and uh, clubs and groups and things like that, too. Absolutely. It works great for that, especially if you can get any comp competition together with different groups. And then, we, you know, we can actually help out and uh, with prizes and that kind of thing to just really make a, get an incentive out there to get them going. So now what's the life cycle of a can? So we see it like this and then it's, it's brought, uh, you know, tore down to this. Then what happens to it? Basically, you get it ready to ship because that's the main thing. You don't want to ship a bunch of air. And then it, it get, it, we bring it down into this form, <clears throat> ship it to the mill, and then it just it's amazing how fast the turnaround time is. It can be back to another can in less than 30 days. Oh, wow, that's great. Mm, yeah. All right, well, let's see this mama in action. Let's, let's see how it. it happens. Let's do it. Okay, now we're at this big bad boy, and what is this? This is called a drum crusher. Okay, appropriately named. So we start off with something like this. Right. The big brother of the little can we saw over there, and then what happens? We run it through a cycle, and it ends up like that. Wow. So what's the reduction in size, basically? About one-sixth of its actual size. So. Now, I know that with the technology revolution, there's been a huge increase in electronic waste. Mm -hmm. Now, do you guys handle that? Because I know that's always a touchy thing as far as people that will take it or won't take it. Yeah, it's, it can be expensive. We, we actually charge 25 cents a pound for your monitors and that kind of thing. And that can add up. Those things are pretty heavy. But we also do take all the other stuff, the CPUs and all that. And we actually pay, you know, 10 to 12 cents a pound, depending on the market for that material. Mm-hmm. Uh, another thing that we do is we, re we uh, accept and actually pay for uh, refrigeration units. Uh, now that's unusual, isn't it? Because most, most places won't take refrigerators. That's well, always a hard item to unload. Yeah, it's because of the Freon and the, you know, just the environmental aspect of it. We, we accept them if they're all uh, in, intact and haven't been uh, dismantled in any way because that, that causes the uh, Freon, the CFCs to release in the atmosphere, and that's something that we nobody wants. That. That's real hard on the ozone. All right, so Dane, we've had a great time out here, and we've actually learned something. So, if people have more questions, or if they want to learn more about recycling or about the services you offer, what's the best way to find out? Well, uh, we've got all this information on our website. That's greenboxrecycling.com. And you can go through there and it just takes you step by step on how to use the drop off location, how to prepare your metal to bring it in to get the best price, what to look for around the house. Uh, there's a lot of information there. Great. Well, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks again. Hey, you bet. It's been a great time seeing you guys out there. All right. We'll see you again. All right. And that's it for Tooele TV.